determine the equation of the median from A for this triangle. Now you don't need to draw yourself a diagram, but I'm going to for you just so you can help visualize it. Point A is three comma four, which is somewhere up here. Point B is negative five comma negative two, which is somewhere down there. And C is five comma negative eight, which is somewhere down there. There's your triangle. The median from A, it's a very specific word. It means it goes from that point to the midpoint of the opposite side. For us, that's BC. We're gonna have to figure out where the midpoint of that side is. And then we're looking for the equation of this dotted line that connects that corner to that midpoint. I can already tell it's probably gonna have a positive slope, maybe a steep one and a negative y-intercept because that line is gonna meet somewhere down there. But let's actually figure it out. How do you find the midpoint between B and C? Well, the formula that teachers use is x1 plus x2 over two comma y1 plus y2 over two. You're really just averaging together the x's and averaging together the y's between points B and C. The x's here are negative five and five. That's negative five plus five over two. And the y's are negative two and negative eight. So that's negative two plus negative eight all over two. That actually gives me zero over two comma and negative 10 over two, which when I simplify is zero comma negative five. Oh, nice round numbers. You know what? I must have misinterpreted where my points were. I mean, I was just estimating anyways. That point is actually right here. It is the y-intercept. Isn't that going to be fun? But to get the equation of the median, you're actually going to need the slope of that line. That's the slope. That's a lowercase m between points A and capital M, capital M being midpoint. The formula for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now here, I am using the point three comma four as well as zero comma negative five. So just be careful you're using the correct points there. y2 minus y1 is four minus negative five, and x2 minus x1 is three minus zero. Note that the four and the three were paired together as a point, and they appear above and below each other in this formula. You don't wanna get that twisted around or you'll be off by a factor of negative one. Anyways, this gives me nine over three, which is another whole number of three. Oh, does it make sense that that slope is three? Well, yeah, it goes up and to the right, so it's a positive slope and it's kind of steep, so it might be a big number like three. I like that. Now, how do you create the equation knowing the slope? Well, I actually already know my b. It's right here at negative 5. Y-intercepts are where x is 0. But I'm going to show you the longer way of doing this. The way I do it is using y equals mx plus b. And I plug in my slope. That's going to go in where m is. And then I choose either of these points, a or m, the two points that were on the line to plug in for x and y. That'll let me solve for b. I'm going to choose a. My x there is 3, and my y there is 4. Notice how I plugged in 3 and 4 for x and y, and I plugged in 3 for m. So I got 4 equals 9 plus b. I can move the 9 to the other side, make it subtraction. That's negative 5 equals b. And so I've got my slope and my y-intercept. That means the equation is y equals slope times x plus b, which is negative 5. That's the equation of my median. The steps to find the equation of a median are find the midpoint of the opposite side compared to the corner you're taking the median from. That is, if we were asked for A, we got the midpoint between B and C, the other two corners of the triangle. And then, using that midpoint and the actual corner that the median is coming from, do a slope formula, 
then plug that slope and either point, you could have used this point as well, into y equals mx plus b to solve for b. Because then you'll have m and b, and you can jam those into the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. Pretty good. I liked it. Hope you did too. And best of luck.